Okay, the subject is calibration. In the book, there's a section called, there's a called calibration, and it says, in a manufacturing facility, all measuring tools are periodically cycled through the quality department where they are calibrated against very accurate standards. So, what happens? At EIT, we would have to give our tools to this guy, really wasn't in QC, but he called himself a QC guy, and what he would do, he would take our tools and carry it somewhere and calibrate them. Well, inevitably, he had to take the radius gauges. I don't know how much y'all familiar with radius gauges, but here's a set of them. They look like this or that. And what you do with them, you use them to check find the place maybe you can see it there go into the camera a little bit more or maybe up here so you use them to check uh, to see if the radius is correct so this set will run this is a Mitotoyo set very good quality that set will probably, I might had looked it up lately for probably 150 bucks. So inevitably, we had two sets at EIT, and he would take the set and carry it back to wherever and call himself calibrating. Well, then I found out, because I was managing another machine shop, that he was sending these off to a gauging company, and they were putting them up on a CMM. Where's my pen? And they would check all the radius here, the radius here, the radius here, the radius here, and the radius here against the CMM and validate or calibrate them. Well, what was happening is they were charging probably $150, $200 to calibrate them. So my argument became, which I argued a lot over there, became why are we spending $200 to calibrate a $150 set of tools? Um, I said, why don't we just throw them away every year and buy a new set? And they didn't like that argument because a new set is brand new. Why do you need them calibrated? And then my other argument is to see how this tool is used. Again, hold this up. Put that up against the radius. I don't know if you can see it very well. So how are you checking that? You are using your eyeballs to check it. So let me take my glasses off. I'm going to hold it up to it. And it looks pretty doggone close to 330 seconds. So why are you spending $200 getting a very accurate QC report on this tool when you're using your eyeballs to calibrate it. So what that tells me is, if it wants to be true, and if they really want to be true about calibration, then I've got to take these out and send them off to a gauging lab and get my eyeballs calibrated because that is how I'm measuring that radius, strictly by eyeball. So I didn't win many arguments at EIT, but I won that argument. So they put these on all the radius gauges. They had a put a sticker, I can't remember what it's called, but something about for reference only, which meant that we didn't have to spend $200 every year to get them calibrated when you're using your eyeballs to check them with. So that is story time with Todd. Thank you.